Thanks for watching. Today we're gonna make tea biscuits, or as they're also commonly known as scones. Yes, thank you, Jill, or for joining scones. me. Scones. Yes, Andy. scones. Yep. Yeah. Depending on where, what part of the world you're from. So thank you very much for joining me, Jill. Oh, you're most welcome. Um, so we're making gluten, a gluten-free variety of of tea biscuits, um, and we're gonna use Frankie's gluten-free all-purpose flour blend. And it's a really easy recipe. Um, I love making these and then just popping them in the freezer and then whenever I feel like one, I pull one out and heat it up in the microwave and then butter it and it just melts and it's just, it's nice to sit on a nice... With a nice cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So let's put, um, it says put everything in, so let's put everything in. So we're gonna start with the butter. I only leave the currants until the very end. And this is butter or is this, is this vegan butter? That, that's margarine actually, oh, okay. yeah. Perfect. Uh, Look at that. There we are. Don't want to waste anything. No. And we're gonna add our egg. Okay. And our sugar. And our milk. And you know what? I'm gonna say let's mix all that up. Oh, just yeah. to get it going. Just so that we don't have little pockets of like egg or butter right. or, or anything like that. Yeah, I think it needs a little bit more solid in there. To yeah, keep absolutely. Dry. So I always add my flour first, and then I add the, the supplemental ingredients like um, salt and baking powder and, and ingredients like that because the the salt you don't want to have you, you want to have it combined in with the flour. So you mix that up. We'll add the currants at the very very end. Yeah, just until it comes together? Yeah, just until it comes together. You can see there's still a few chunks in there that need to... Yeah. Scrape down the sides a bit? Yeah, let's scrape down the sides. Do you think it needs any more beating? Um, no, I don't believe so. I think it looks... I thought you were going to eat that there for a minute. Oh, believe me. <laughs> it has crossed my mind. I am a beater liquor. Oh! There we go. There we go. And I'm going to throw the currants in there. Now, at this point, you can use currants or you can also do cheese. Or um, raisins. Or raisins. Or even raisins. raisins on yeah. That. Anything like that. Or actually, my mother used to add herbs. Mm hmm. To that, herb that would cheese. be good. Yeah. Herb and cheese, yeah. yeah. So that looks great. Okay. So we'll lower that down, and then we'll take that off, and we'll move that over, and, we'll and let's that. clean this all off. Look at this. So it looks very wet, but I'm going to have faith in the recipe, and we're going to just do it. Okay. So scrape the sides a little bit. And I'm using an ice cream scoop. Because it's so quick and easy. And they're uniform size then. And they are uniform size. I think I might get 12 out of this. Uh, yeah. Oops. I might even get 13. You just don't have room on the pan for it. <laughs> I think so. Okay. There we go. So you can brush these if you want with an egg wash. Um, I, I'm not gonna bother, I like them just the way they are. And we're gonna bake them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 minutes. Okay. Look at these, Jill. They look delicious, Jill. They do look really good. Let's just check them. I'm just gonna use my skewer. And let's go with that one. Look at that, nothing sticks on it. That's perfect. That's the tell. Wonderful, so these are so flaky and so wonderful. I mean, you can see that some of them just almost touching, but they didn't really expand no, that no, much. not at all. And we could have brushed them with a bit of egg just to give them a bit more of a sheen, but it's just me that's eating them, so. And you, yes, of course, and you. 
So thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you very much for coming, Jill. My pleasure. And I look forward to biting into these. Me too. Thanks for thank watching. You.